episode. I wanted to get this video out, video out sooner, but we went on vacation for a week and I wanted to try this out before I made a video and recommended it. And I am a big fan of this. I was able to manually water my garden while I was away for a week. I didn't put on a schedule because Louisiana has some pretty weird weather. So if we pull up the weather app, you can see for the next week or so we have rain and thunderstorms, but it's low 30%, 50%, and that's how it was all the week I was gone. So that would have prevented the schedule, but it didn't actually rain. So I would have not been able to water my garden during that week. So I just used the manual method of watering the lawn. So like I said, I'm pretty impressed. I just wanted to tell you about the week I was gone and that I actually use this and I recommend and so now we can watch the video on how to install it and use it. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hello world. Welcome to the 208th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment and liking this video. And so today or in our previous video, we hooked up a irrigation system to our garden. We can manually turn it on and all the sprinklers come on. And so the next step is to automate it. And we're going to use this right here, Orbit uh, 2104 Beehive. So Beehive uh, is the name of the company. Smart Hose Faucet Timer. And it comes with this Wi-Fi hub that's compatible with Alexa, Gray. But most importantly, it's compatible with our Home Assistant software that we'll be using. All right, so this uh, price keeps changing. I bought it in the 60s, so I don't know why it goes up and down, but that's how Amazon is. And so this is what it looks like. It comes with this. This connects to your hose, and I'll show you that uh, coming up next. You access it using your smartphone, and this is the Wi-Fi hub that connects to your uh, wall outlet. So it connects directly in line with your hose. It comes with this Wi-Fi hub. Uh, you do have to put two AA batteries in here. So that's how um, eventually I need to have my setup, but right now I just have a double splitter on another double splitter, and that's it. So I'm pretty excited. So what we're going to do now is um, go to when we receive it, we'll open it up, and then we'll start installing it. So let's check that out now. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the App Store and get the Beehive. I don't have the Beehive Pro, so I just use the Beehive app and go ahead and install that. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the Beehive app to your smart device, step two is to plug in your hub. So I'm going to plug in my hub as close to the outside as I can. So here is a plug here. Alright, so step three says insert two batteries. Okay, so here is the battery uh, area right here. So go ahead and take that out and insert your batteries. Go ahead and insert your batteries here. Put it back in the case. Alright, now it says to follow the instructions on the app to complete your timer setup. So let's go back to the app. So now that we have the batteries installed, we're going to go to the app, create an account. We're going to put in our first, last name, our email, confirm the email, and then um, put in your password and then create an account. And then after that, we're going to um, see if we want to be notified of rain delays and watering events. I don't like the notifications, so I click no. And then you have, uh, this is a new device, so I have a code. 
So I click new device and then I have the host faucet timer and hub. So here are some other options. All right. So device is powered on. So if you've put in the batteries and plugged in your USB hub, like the instructions say, you can, um, so it says, is your device powered on and ready to go? So you can click my device is powered on. So I clicked yes. So it found a device. So it found the USB drive. So this matches my device. And then it's going to try to connect to your Wi-Fi. So that is one of my Wi-Fi setups. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the password and then connect to the network. And then once we are connected to the network, then we can continue on with the setup. All right, so it found the uh, Wi-Fi hub. You can call this whatever you want. Um, if you have multiple Wi-Fi hubs or whatever. So I just click next. Then it's going to update the firmware depending on when you buy it. So I'm going to skip ahead on this. Okay, once the firmware is all set up and installed, I just use the current location, but you can enter your information and um, verify that the current location is accurate. Click next. So make sure both devices are powered on still. So my device is powered on. And this time it found your thing that's connected to your hose. So go ahead and this matches my device. Now, if you have multiple one, you'll have to add multiple devices as well. Connect via Wi-Fi. And then it will connect. Retrieving device info. Now you can click uh, success. So if you don't have success, you might have to check that it's powered on. So if you have multiple timers, you might need to name that differently, but I just click next. And then it's going to update the firmware of the... All right, so if you remember from the previous video, uh, this is my current setup. Uh, this goes to my hose right here. Uh, just my normal garden hose that's on a spool. And then this is my garden automation. So I need to experiment how I want to do this because every time I turn this on like this and I don't know if the uh, GoPro can catch it but it's a very loud noise that you can hear on the inside of the house and I don't like that now one of the reasons why is that this might be smaller than this I'm not sure so maybe I just need to get bigger piping here but either way I think I'm going to place this here like that and then have it always on here and then hopefully I don't get uh, the same amount of noise so like this so here and then connect the splitter to the below and then I'll have to figure out a way to keep my hose always on but yeah let me try it and then I'll come back all right so this is how I connected it um, still don't know how I'm going to have my hose always on yet. Uh, maybe I'll have to get a double splitter up there. A better double splitter up here. And then have one of the lines coming down to this. And just have this being a singular thing. But we'll check it out. So let's go back to the app and do some tests. Okay, so we are back in the app now and we've connected it so i'm just going to do this quick test um i did this before i started recording and i forgot to turn the nozzle on and so i got an error that popped up that says the water flow is insufficient to start a test so if you get that error just go back outside and make sure you actually turned your hose on and so this is actually my second test the water does take a second to turn on and then it takes a second to turn off as well, just like it says. So after a successful zone test, you can press next and uh, give it a name. 
And so depending on where you have this, I just typed in garden because if you have more than one of these, you can put different things on there. So you can do smart watering where it determines your landscape information. You have to put that in or you could put traditional watering, which is where I did. And now it says we're all set up. So I started using my device and this is what the dashboard looks like. So um, I press the manual water and here you can put in how long you want to run your garden. And so I put in five minutes and started manually watering my garden, which was amazing because I did it from inside my house. And then it will count down and tell you how much you have left. Um, I've been using this app for like five minutes, so I hate that it asks you how do you enjoy the app. And so I just uh, click not now, so this goes away. And I, I really wish they would stop doing that, but anyways. So um, as you can see, you can start a rain delay or you can um, stop it. So if you just wanted your water on for like 30 seconds, which is all I did for this video, and then it will stop. And so like I said, you could have four of these hooked up and you can type in your calendar. You can put the different programs, right? So you have more than one of them. And then that's it. So it's pretty awesome. Okay, at this point, you can just use your automated sprinkler from your phone and you can set the time and date and have it recurring schedule or you can water manually. But the, the thing I'm trying to do is I'm going to add it to my home assistant now. So if you're not interested in using the home assistant software and building your own automated smart home, then you can uh, turn the video off now and thanks for watching. But for all those, we're going to uh, navigate to our Home Assistant now. And if you haven't watched uh, my previous video, I have hooked up my Home Assistant to a Raspberry Pi, which is connected to an SSD, which is connected directly to my router. So you can watch that video by clicking here. And so I've updated my Home Assistant off camera to uh, do all the upgrades. And so there was a notification here that said uh, detected new software or new hardware connected to my Wi-Fi. We're, we're going to skip that for now. And um, we are going to add this manually. Now, one of the things is that I am doing this live with you. So forgive me for doing this, uh, maybe fumbling around more than I should. So we're going to go to hacks. We're going to go to integrations. Okay, so you go to hacks, integrations, explore and download repositories. You can find Orbit here. Let's click on that, the Orbit Beehive. All right, here is all the README from the GitHub here. And now let's download this download all right so it's going to down download and then it's going to require a restart so pending restart you have one integration for which to restart let's navigate to that let's press restart restart home assistant Okay, Home Assistant has started. So we have all of this now. We can go to Hacks, Integrations, and let's see if that is here now. Orbit, Orbit Beehive. All right, now we have this integration here. So this is what we did. We navigated to the Hacks add-on. Then we search for it, and now we can configure via Home Assistant. So we can go to Home Assistant Settings, Device and Settings. So Device and Settings, Add Integration. 
So I've taken off all my Reolink IP cameras for now. And so that's why this is showing as a fail right there. So we're going to add integration. Go back to here. Orbit. Beehive. Okay, it's going to ask for my username and password. All right, so my username required my Gmail. The devices, the smart host tap timer, submit. Create a configuration. We found the following devices. So let's add it to the add new area. Let's type in garden. Let's spell it right. Garden. Add. Finish. And now we have the orbit beehive. One device. So it's showing my battery at 100%, the controls, the configuration, here's some diagnostics, we can add some automations, do something when, only do something if, and we have all these options here. So we can add whatever we want to this. Um, we can add this to our dashboard right here. So I'm going to add that. Um, okay, I don't have control over my dashboard. Let's look at this. Edit dashboard. Okay, now let's go back to here plus no, no no let's go to the settings device and services go back to the orbit beehive the device and let's add this to the dashboard so I want the battery level uh, the state so let's add this right here add to dashboard there we go and let's go back to our overview and now we have this garden here so we have this smart hose timer now onto our cards. Let's press done. And there we go. So now we have our real link camera that's not hooked up yet. Um, the sensor, um, don't worry about that. This is some profile stuff. I, I don't know if I want all this on here but now we have the battery level and the state it's in and we can control it from here so that's how you add it to hacks so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're doing some garden automation please leave a comment and tell me how you plan to use all of this and thanks for watching goodbye world